Welcome to Perth Watch, your horology channel broadcasting from right here in Perth, Western Australia. Guys, today I have the latest piece from Atawak, Atawak, uh, as some people like to call it, in a good way. Uh, this one uh, comes in a piano black case. It really, actually, it spins pretty well. That's uh, at least a four out of five, I reckon. Now, Atawak have uh, made... I think this is their third watch, you know, at least based on their, what I can find. This is their third piece. They do make a little bit of out of this world type of designs in a very cool way. So let's take a look at this particular piece. So as I say, solid piano black case, you know, it's got a, I guess a bit of a key lock there, uh, felt in the inside and then, you know, nicely hinged here. And there's the watch in there. Now it does have a protective silicon type of cover. I guess if you were doing some rough work, you might use that, but most of the time you're not going to be putting, you know, that to hide this, you know, pretty awesome design here. So let's just take this out, push that aside and show you the watch in closer detail. So guys, this is the Atawak Cobra in royal blue dial color. Now it does come, of course, in a number of different colors. Uh, some of them are actually... I guess coated cases, maybe PVD or a DLC, uh, but I actually do prefer the naked steel. You know, I think it just uh, it just appeals to me that much more. Some of you guys might like the coated cases, but this is my preference since this is the model that I requested. Uh, now the retail uh, is 1999, 1999 USD. You do get a 15 percent of signing bonus i think right now if you just sign up on the atawak website so straight off uh it's about 300 dollars off if you do that so you know it, keep in mind that's the type of pricing range that is in discussion for this particular watch uh, now the watch does come with two straps it does come with this uh, blue leather strap as well i'll discuss that in uh you know a little bit later in the video all right Movement details, uh, just gonna pop it up on the side here for you guys to check out, and I'm not gonna read it out. Uh, moving on to the case then. So this, this case is 43 and a half millimeters wide at this widest point there, okay? So between my fingers there, my thumb and forefinger, uh, it's 43.5. The height of the case, I guess if you wanna consider that, okay, so that, that height there, uh, not including the crown, about 50 millimeters right measured by calipers and thickness you know from the flat bottom of the case there where my thumb is to the height the the apex there is 17.3 millimeters thick that's the measurements that i have done with calipers here uh, the bracelets and the, the strap as well tapers from 22 uh, to 18 millimeters okay that's the dimension there's no meaningful discussion of lug width because as you can see it is a custom uh, connection to the case here. There's, there's no such thing as a lug width on this particular watch. Weight wise, 188 grams uh, with I think three links that I took off. So 188 grams, very substantial. Uh, if you take off this bracelet and put it on the leather strap that I just showed you, it's 115 grams. So much more manageable, but it's going to be somewhat top heavy in that you know, strap configuration here. Finishing wise. Okay, so finishing wise, you can see hopefully is visible here. On the top of the case, it's longitudinal brushing, uh, and then it transitions to polish on the bevels, right? the beveled surfaces like this one here, the front bevel, all the angled bevels here, nicely done is you know, high polish, long brush on the side, and then polish on the bottom bevel that you can see there, and transitioning very nicely, I have to say, onto a bit of a bead blasting finish onto that windowed case back there just a little window just to show a bit of the movement probably not entirely necessary but hey that, that's the little touch that they have gone for uh, and just to mention that you know it's got carbon fiber inserts here right just a little bit of coolness here you can see right that's carbon fiber right there that variegated lighting that you're going to see reflecting off that material Okay, in terms of construction, right, of course, you're not going to get a screw down case back here. It's screw secured, right, that case back, you can see, hopefully you can see the screw holes there. Uh, and that crown is not a screw down crown. It is actually just a loose pushing crown, winds at the zero position. Uh, the overall water rating that this watch is given is 30 meters. And I think that's absolutely fine, right, with a design like this. 
I wasn't expecting, definitely wasn't expecting 100 meters. In fact, it could have been 50, but they've gone for 30 and that's fine. You know, with that rating, definitely I'm not going to take this swimming. Uh, I, I, in fact, do tend to take it off for shower as well. You know, just, just taking that little bit of caution with something like that is really just splash resistant in my book. Okay, moving on to this, you know, rather cool dial here. So what we have here is what they call a three-dimensional copper and aviation aluminium material uh, dial with Geneva stripe decorations. You know, that middle part, they've called it Geneva stripes. I guess it is. That tends to, tends to be a movement decoration, but hey, you can do it on the dial as well. Why not? It's got 120 degree minute track at the bottom, of course. You can see right there as you've been observing this watch. Uh, and the arms, these hands, you know, they're really a hyper engineered set uh, of triple armed handset, right? It's just an hour indicator really on the hands and then uh, it's got the minute as it swings around the bottom arc of the dial here. I'll try to put a video in here to, you know, kind of demonstrate the engineering and the way the hands work as well. Uh, in terms of loom, it's got BGW9 uh, on the hands, right? Those hour readouts on the hands as well as that 120 degree arc uh, minute track at the bottom and the Atawak logo through the little window you can see uh, up the top of the case here. Okay, loom shot, of course, to let you see how it might glow in the dark. Not the most fantastic loom, uh, but I guess it doesn't really have to have that. All right, in terms of covering, right, you're getting flat sapphire crystals, okay? So that, that big window at the bottom, flat sapphire, that one at the top, flat sapphire as well, uh, not to mention that, that the case back window as well is also a little oval or roundish uh, sapphire uh, crystal there. So three sapphire windows on this watch. Moving on to the straps and bracelets then. So what, you know, what, what do you call this? I reckon this is kind of an engineer oyster. I, I, I reckon this is an engineered oyster. This is what I'm going to call it. Not exactly an oyster style. Three piece per link, of course. Solid stainless steel bracelet. It's got screw connections. Hopefully you can see uh, the screw tops, you know, as, as you see on these links here, right? Screw adjustment uh, and a butterfly class release. Some people uh, would lament that a little bit and some people really don't like that because you have no micro adjust capability. Uh, in fact, this, this watch is crying out for either half links or one third links. They haven't really provided that. Hopefully they will rectify that on their proper releases. Okay, so that's this particular bracelet. Let's snap it on the wrist for a wrist shot quickly for you now. And you know, that's what I like about braces. You can just snap it on very quickly. And there we have it, the Atawak Cobra in royal blue on my 17 centimeter wrist. A massive uh, presence here with that 50 millimeter, you know, a bit more with that crown. Definitely a good presence, really high with 17, just over 17 millimeters on the height there. And that good bracelet. I really enjoy this bracelet, I have to say. And you know, honestly, you know, one of the most commented watches I have ever had. You know, there we go. Okay, in terms of moving on to the strap, then uh, just to show you the case changing. Okay, so it really there's there's a little spring mechanism on this little grabber here, right? So all you have to do is pull it inwards, and it comes off, right? Just as easy as that. So pull it in. And it comes out. That is really a lovely mechanism, I have to say. And then I'm just going to do it in front of the camera because I can. This is just so pleasant to use. You just have to push it in, right? Just just put it in that that slot there where that you know clip is, and it just you know really lovely innovation that they've gone for here. And uh, just to show you the case uh, adjustment, the, the hand adjustment, in case you haven't you know seen it or caught it earlier. So as you turn it. You can see that other hand goes through the window and it flips the hour reading over. Very cool, very cool. You know, I've just shown this to people and let them play with it. And it is a pleasure, I have to say, to be able to have this watch and discuss it with friends. Right, uh, wrist shot for you guys on this particular blue strap, of course, to show it to you. And there it is on the blue you know, leather strap, the blue, of course, to kind of match the dial there. Uh, I have to say, you can see there's a bit of padding here on this strap and it does make that part a bit stiff, which means for me, it rides up a bit high 
and squeezes you know unevenly i find that this probably does need a bit more wearing i haven't quite worn it enough so at the moment because of the way it sits a little bit stiff on that part there it is not uh, as enjoyable as it as you know the bracelet has been for me you know in terms of this strap it really is just a blue genuine leather with stitching right pretty nice blue i have to say quite quite a quite a bright blue there and it's got uh, angular polished hardware pretty nicely done to match the case you know definitely not an oem stuff there they've really kind of engineered this entire watch so what have i loved about this what are the real you know things that i've enjoyed look i, I think no doubt it is really just so different it is out of this world it's cool courageous original design right very original case you know original type of dial there with that aluminium uh, and the time indicator design, right? Yes, you know, it, it does take from other watches, but you know, it is a wholly original mechanism that they've come up with. Uh, and it is utterly modern and it is quite unique. It is a super conversation starter. This, in living memory, this is the most commented watch I have ever had. You know, it, I've just worn this for about, I think, 10 days now. And there's no shortage of conversations, people looking at it and going, Wow, that is a that's a pretty cool looking watch. What is it? And you start conversations. It's just been a joy in that way. If you enjoy talking to people about watches, specs, right? It's okay, right? It's excellently done in terms of the case. Very, very well done. This is, uh, I think, on par with anything else that I've seen in terms of case finishing and fit uh, on a two thousand dollar watch. Uh, I think this can go toe to toe with anything out of Switzerland at this price range. That's that's my feel of it. Uh, the bracelet, I think is very good. Clearly not just an OEM off the shelf bracelet, right? They've done a pretty good job there. Uh, and Sapphire Crystal and a Miyota 9000 movement. Uh, the, the strap is take it or leave it. I think I really enjoy the bracelet more personally. Uh, in terms of weaknesses, you know, any weaknesses, I think, as I mentioned, the bracelet does need, you know, half or two third links. It, it, it probably doesn't fit very very well many people with you know link size that much if you're going to have to adjust that much some people are going to fall in between uh, those sizes and overall of course this is not a watch to tell the time quickly nor precisely there's no seconds hand here right so if that's what you need this is not the watch you're going to go for right you're not going to be able to glance at this and grab the time very quickly uh, loom wise i think i mentioned this with the atore design it's slightly compromised because you can see if you're going to be shining a light on this or exposing this to light, only some of the numbers will be charged, right? Not all the numbers will be charged, so you won't be able to see the time, you know, after a little bit of while. The loom is not the best anyway. Uh, overall, you know, the big, big question, of course, is the value proposition, right? $1,999, so pretty much $2,000. Uh, is this a watch that will go? You know, the big question in the challenging market like this is, is the uniqueness of this design enough uh, to make this a success? Look, I reckon they have done a lot of work, right? Wholly original stuff, you know, a lot of modification in that Miyota there. It is definitely, you know, not just a plain movement. They've had to, of course, change it so that those hour hands rotate every three hours, not one hour. You know, a lot of work you can, you know, obviously appreciate straight up that have gone into this. So is it worth $2,000? You let me know. You know, note that yes, it does, you know, take after the Urwerk, uh, you know, UR120, for example, and I'll put a shot right here for you to appreciate you know, how similar or not it is to the Urwerk. And Urwerk wants six figures, right? Over $100,000 for their UR120. Yes, that watch has a lot more other stuff in it, but hey, you know, it, it's got this kind of similar wandering our look let me know if you think it's worth it uh, I reckon there is a lot of quality a lot of work so you know I, I wish them all the best you know hopefully this will indeed be a success and we will see more from Atawak so guys there you go that's my review of the Atawak Cobra in royal blue as always let me know your thoughts below and I will catch you guys next time mm -hmm.